What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my 99 overall well-rounded guard. Before the video starts, make sure to drop a like and comment down below if you guys like my cut. I like your cut, G. If you guys want to know how to make this well-rounded guard, there's going to be a video in the description to this build and how to make it. But today I'm just going to show you guys my attributes, my badges, and my animations or signature styles, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's start with the attributes. For the attributes, I have a 64 close shot, which doesn't really matter in my opinion. At least it doesn't matter that much because I do more driving layups than standing layups. Then my driving layup's an 84, my driving dunk is an 88, which is amazing. That helps so much. I can get a bunch of flashy dunk animations and I can get all the contact dunk animations, except big man standing contact dunks, which I don't really care about. Then my standing dunk is a 56, which isn't the best, but it's enough to where I can get standing dunk animations a good amount. And then my post hook's a 55. I don't really do post hooks, so I didn't upgrade that. Then for the shooting, I have a 77 mid range, a 75 three pointer. And as you can see, this is because I am 99 overall. It used to be a 71, but now it's a 75. And I feel like there's actually a pretty big difference between a 71 and a 75 three pointer, which is kind of crazy, but I guess that's how shooting works this year. Then my free throws is 64, and I didn't upgrade that because I wanted my post fade to be really high because I was actually a post scorer in NBA 2K19, so I'm pretty good at post fade. So I wanted that to be pretty high just in case I need it. I don't use it too much, but it's there if I need it. Then for my playmaking, I have a 76 pass accuracy and ball handle. And the reason I put my ball handle to a 72 is so it could be 76 at 99 overall, which means every time I get takeover, I could actually speed boost on this build. Then I have 39 post moves, which I don't really care about at all. And now going to the defense, I have a 64 interior defense which isn't the best but if I do put moving truck on that definitely helps then I have 78 perimeter defense which is pretty good 76 lateral quickness 75 steel a 69 block which isn't the best but I'll show you guys my badges later show you guys how I do get blocks on this build and then my rebounding is 65 for offense and 74 for defensive rebound and now for the physicals I actually do have gym right on this build so I get a plus four from that and then I get another plus four for being 99 so I get a plus eight to all my physical attributes so I have an 86 speed 85 acceleration 63 strength 79 vertical and 99 stamina and with my speed being this high at six foot seven it definitely helps a lot this build isn't the best at dribbling because I don't even get pro dribble moves, but with some of the playmaking badges that I have, it makes it a lot easier to dribble, get to the rim, do whatever I need to do with my dribble moves. For my badges, I know I get Hall of Fame finishing badges and that four finishing badges isn't that much, but last year I actually had a rebounding wing build and I had three finishing badges. All I had was contact finisher gold and I could get contact dunks like crazy. So because I'm this tall, I think contact finisher Hall of Fame is really all I need. Obviously there are a lot of good badges like Acrobat, like Relentless Finisher, Giant Slayer, Slithery Finisher. But honestly, I think the way I play, I think I'm fine with only Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. Then for the shooting, I have Catch and Shoot Gold, Flexible Release Gold, which is actually a really good badge this year, even though it was bad last year. Then I have Corner Specialist Gold, Green Machine Silver, and then Hot Zone Hunter and Range Extender Gold. And the reason I don't have that many finishing badges is because I wanted 12 playmaking badges, or at least 11, so I could have Handles for Days Gold, Quick for Step Gold, and Unpluckable Gold. And then with the rest of my badges, I just put Bailout Bronze and then the rest to Needle Threader. And sometimes I run this if I want to throw lobs, if I have a teammate that can catch lobs, I do that. But normally I'll just put Needle Threader Silver and then I take off Lob City Passer. Going into the defensive badges, I only have nine, which isn't that much. But I think this is a pretty good badge setup to run where I have Clamps Gold, Intimidator Gold, and then Chase Down Artist Silver and Rim Protector Bronze because Rim Protector definitely helps with Chase Down Artist so I can get a lot of blocks and most of my blocks are Chase Down blocks. And then if I do want to run the big on this build, I'll take Clamps off, I'll put Rebound Chaser Gold, and then I'll lower Intimidator and I'll lower Chase Down Artist. And then I normally put Box Silver and Moving Truck Bronze so I don't get bodied as much. So I run something like this when I do run the big. I change it up a little bit, but normally I do just run with Clamps Gold and the badge setup that I showed you guys before. If you guys want to know my jump shot, the link is in the description to the jump shot video that I made. But for my free throw, I have Kobe Bryant, and this is a really good free throw. I've been using this since NBA 2K16. For my dribble pull-up, I use Normal 4. I've been using this since either 2K20 or 2K19. For my spin jumper, I also use Normal 4. This one is really slow, honestly. But because it's slow, it's really easy to trick defenders because they end up jumping early and it's easy to see if you're open or not. So you can pass out of it or just not take the shot if it's contested. For my hop jumper, I use normal 21. And honestly, I think this is the best one in the game by far. Normal 14 is also kind of good, but I feel like normal 21 is definitely the best hop jumper in the game. For my post fade, I use fade three. I also think this is easily the best fade in the game and I've been using this since NBA 2K19. So I'd put this on if you guys need a good post fade to use. Post hook doesn't really matter, but I have post hook three on. I don't be doing post hooks like that. So I don't know if this is the best, but I'm just letting you guys know that hook three is the one that I have on. For post hop shot, I think number one is the best. But if you guys try this one out and end up not liking it, seven, eight, and 10 are also good ones to use. 
And then for post semi fade and semi hook, I have number three on, but I don't really do those, so I don't know if they're the best, but I use post semi fade and hook number three. For dribble style, I used to use shifty, but now I use LeBron James. I feel like shifty and LeBron James are really good dribble styles to use, especially for taller players who can't get guard dribble styles. For my crossover, I use normal four, and this isn't the fastest crossover, but I feel like it's really good because it makes you move from left to right really fast. So it's good to create space even though it isn't the fastest crossover. For behind the back, I've tried our normal two and normal three. I think these are definitely the best two behind the backs that aren't pro behind the backs. So I would try out two and three, see which one you like better, but I personally like two better. Then for moving spins, I use basic one. I think this is probably the best spin. Even though it's a basic spin, there's a glitchy spin that can spin you back to the three point line and that is really nice. So that's the one that I use. For moving hesitations, I used to use normal 1, but then I tried out normal 3, and it's pretty fast, as you can see by this animation. It's much faster than normal 1, it creates a lot more space, I feel like, so that's the one that I use. For the basic size of package, I put normal 4. For size up escape packages, I use normal 1, but if you don't like normal 1, I think normal 4 is also a pretty smooth one to use. And then for triple threat styles, I use WNBA 2, I've been using this since NBA 2K20, and honestly, I think this is the nicest looking one out of all the triple threat styles. For my layup package, I use Russell Westbrook, and it's because this layup package is really explosive and it's really good for contact layups. I use this in NBA 2K18 and 19, and then in NBA 2K20 I use Long Athlete because it helped a lot with hop steps, but other than that, I think Westbrook is the best layup package. Unless you're trying to do hop steps, I would put on Long Athlete, but like I said, Russell Westbrook is really good for contact finishing at the rim. Right here, you can see all of the dunk packages I use. I think the best three that you want to have 100% are sidearm tomahawk, straight arm tomahawk, and then baseline reverses off one. Those are easily the best three dunk packages, but then if you want to add some flashy dunks, I have clutch reverses off one, which looks really nice, windmill reverses, which I like a lot. That's probably my favorite in terms of flashy dunk packages, and then leaning windmills is also really nice. But if you have a high enough driving dunk, the three that I would get 100% are sidearm tomahawks, straight arm tomahawks, and baseline reverses off one, especially sidearm tomahawk and baseline reverses off one because if you use the right stick to dunk, you can basically choose what hand you dunk with and whether you do a reverse dunk or not. So those are just really nice to have if you have a high enough driving dunk. And if you don't have too high of a driving dunk, I would just get quick drops off one. I don't have it because I can get these other dunk packages, but if you can't get these three dunk packages, make sure you have quick drops off one. And to finish things off, right here you guys can see I have all the alley-oop packages and all the contact dunk packages except for big man contact dunks. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like if this helped you in any way. And I've still been trying out some different animations, so if you guys have better animations than the ones that I have, make sure to let me know, I'll try them out. Or if you guys end up trying out my animations, let me know how they are in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.